What up, what up, what up? This is Space Doggy coming back at you with another Let's Play Remnant 2. This is part 14, and today is the day we start the Abomination. So, this is the uh, current, I believe it's the only real primary mission for Yesha, and the reason we're shifting gears and kind of heading that way is because in the last episode we left off. Um, defeating Kaula, or like the root corrupted version of Kaula. I think I'm saying that name wrong. And you know, actually, where are we? So we are at the first checkpoint that it drops us at. <clears throat> Excuse me, after defeating that boss that we finished the episode with. So we picked up, um, just to show you. Uh, the tier of Kaula, it increases the relic capacity by two. That is huge for us. I now have five dragon hearts at my disposal. I love that. So, this is, yeah. Here, let me take a quick look at the map. Yeah, so I started kind of poking my head out <laughs> around here, but I didn't go very far, as you can see. Um, but, this abomination is what the Empress asked us to do. So that's kind of going to become my focus. Like we did some exploration for a few episodes. It was fun. But it's time. It's time. And it looks like we got some new enemy types over here too. I call them the Roly Polies. You'll see why very soon. Very soon. Oh my. And I'm not talking about these flying fellas either. The flying fellas, they're FFs. Not, not BFFs, just FFs. Like, are you freaking, freaking kidding me? That kind of, you know what I'm saying. Dang, level up handler, oh. Level up handler 10, new skill attack dog. New trait unlocked? Dang. So, actually, this is exciting stuff. So, okay, something's coming. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to wait a sec. <laughs> like, it's getting louder and closer and closer. Oh, screw this guy. I am out of here. Oh, yeah. Ah. Bye bye. Got him. Got him. All right. So what I was starting to say is, I've heard on YouTube from my brother. I've heard a few different places. So there are these archetypes, and you'll notice there's a blank one over here on the right. So I guess. Us getting to 10 is the thing that has to happen first before we unlock the ability to have another archetype. So, you know, I don't really know what to do with that information. Like, I said it, and as I said it, I'm like, it's not exactly actionable information for me at this point in the game. So, something to keep in mind, though. All right. Let's take a look. So something we do need to do. So that boss we fought last episode, um, I believe I mentioned is the corrupted form of Kaula. Not sure how to pronounce it, but that blue lady we found in the woods, it's her sister. So let me see. Can we come back up this way? So yeah, so we defe defeated the sister and I think that NPC is still going to be friendly to us because um, we have that ring. And I think we have the option of either giving it to Madra, I think was her name, or keeping it. So okay, this is it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet because I do want to keep that ring since it gives us uh, two extra relics, you know. But I got to think about it. I got to think about it. All right. Dang, roly polies. See why I say roly poly? Alright. Dang. 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 
guys. All right, all right. Dang, they pack more of a punch than I thought. That flying dude. Dang, man. The music's still going. Oh. Back up. Well, at least that's over. Yeah, that dude was strong. Strong as heck. All right. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, I unequipped the ring that gives us 25% extra ammo capacity. What I realized is... So, I really was pumped about that at first. But I was never running out of ammo. Like, almost ever. So, I'm going to see. Hopefully, I don't really need that ring. Because it opens up that slot for something different you know something cooler but we're gonna see if I run out of ammo at any point in the exploration I might just re-equip it so okie dokie got a little bridgy poo okay just look at the map stand by coffee sip oh yeah Sorry about that. It's early Sunday morning. You gotta get your coffee sips. Alright. Oh, snap. Alright. I see some iron up here. We're definitely gonna go snag that. Because sooner or later, we're gonna want these... Ah! Materials so we can upgrade our pistola. Dang. Kujo makes short work of those guys, for real. Alright. Is there another level? There is. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I do really like Yesha. But, I heard there's some... I think it's a world... Maybe it's just an area, but I think it's a world, and I guess it's got major Bloodborne vibes. Like, it's kind of got that Victorian kind of atmosphere to it, really dark, depressing, <laughs> all that good stuff. And I am so excited to get to that world. I think I, I definitely mentioned in the earlier episodes of this Let's Play that I just finished the Let's Play for Bloodborne. First time I ever played Bloodborne. Amazing. Ooh, I feel like we're about to get jumped, but we do have a checkpoint. The far woods. Yo, yo, yo. This is good. Let me tell you why. So, the flautist said a powerful being called the one of many can be found at the Thane tree. To get there, I'll have to travel through the far woods to the widow's court. And I love that I kind of know some of these terms. So something that was in between episodes, I was just exhausting the dialogue of one of the uh, NPCs. The one that was like in the rot of the, the root rot. Um, talking to him, he told me a ton of history on the Pan people. And the Red Widows were like a class of people that the Empress came from. And the Thane tree is basically the uh, the Erd tree from Elden Ring. And they worship it, and, you know, yeah, it's a big deal. So, I don't know, to me that's exciting, because when I read that objective before, I was like, what the heck does that even mean? But now when I read it, I know what it means. What's up, bird? Oh, snap, look, that bird got a... He's green. But he's hiding something. Let me up there. Okay, we're not getting up there. I, we could probably get to it maybe after defeating a certain area? I don't know. I don't know why I'm acting like I might know. I don't know. Let's see what we got over here. Come on, where are they at? There's one. Just felt like at any moment we're gonna get ambushed. It's too quiet. Oh snap! Man, 
man. Man, just trying to get a little bit of iron. You ain't got to get all crazy. Oh shoot, not this guy. The rootiest, rottiest of them all. Ay, 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 ay. Where am I? Okay, okay. It's so weird, because, like, looking at the map before we came this way, it didn't seem like there was really anything over here. But that's what they want you to think. Mm. 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 Sad, but true. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll go up that way, but first, let's go. You know there's an item in here. You know it. It's probably times one forged iron. Maybe. A little bit of scrizap. Uh, bad guy? <laughs> oh. Times one forged iron. Look at that. Oh, and a chest. You know that's right. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Nothing scrap. Man. Heck yeah, 19 scrap. All right. I've been working really hard to just not use my scrap because I want to be able to get something sweet with it and I don't want to be spending it on, oh my gosh. Oh, my Lanta. What the heck? What the heck? This guy's crazy. Come on. Melee. Yeah. I don't play around. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. We need that Enigma right now. Right now. Right now. Oh my goodness. It sounds like there's multiple elites. I think it's flying. Oh my Lanta. Another one. Come on down. You're going down next time. You might have caught me off guard once. But not this time, boy -o. Dang it, I was worried that would happen. It dropped the ammo on the roof. I can't go get it. Dang it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay and it's alright. Alright, handgun ammo. That's what we need, baby. Yeah. 26. I think that's my new max ammo for the, uh, for the long gun now. All right, coffee break. Oh, almost choked. Golly. Golly. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. Yeah, I almost choked. Dang it. Can't afford to miss. So the only thing about this enigma that I really don't like, oh my, is, um... I hear something bubbling, guys. What is happening? So the only thing about the Enigma, like, this Widowmaker, very important, you strike your target, because it's one round per, you know, magazine. But, when there's somebody that is moving fast, like those flying enemies, and they're at a distance especially, it's kind of sketchy, like, like, I feel like, well, the Enigma just doesn't reach them, you know. Alright, well, come on. Dang. In the nick of time. Wow. I'm pretty, uh... 
Ah! Oh my gosh. Alright, well, I landed that one, but I was going to use that as an example. Like, they're flying away. It's kind of hard to track them while they're in the air at that distance. But I did it, so maybe I need to stop complaining. Gosh. Alright. Let me see. Bambi. Alright. I feel so bad shooting Bambi like that, but like... He was running right at me. Man, these guys don't play. Okay, all right. The bar woods. Let's see here. Mm hmm. Oh, here they are. Welcome to the party. It's a party, it's a party. Dang, that enigma. Wow. It just feels like I'm cheating a little because I'm not aiming at them, but I'm hitting them. Okay. I don't know why. I, I'm going to shut up about that. that. I'm over here complaining about an amazing weapon. <laughs> Come on. Nice, Cujo. Nice. Cujo, you doing the Lord's work. You know that? Oh. Uh-oh. Yep, yep. We don't want that root rot. We don't want that root rot. Bye-bye. Look at all these. This little minefield. That's crazy. It's amazing. And I guess the only thing you can do is get distance, you know. Anything? What the heck? Whoa! Dang. Alright, alright. Sneaky little devils. Sneaky little devils sneaking on me. Anything here? Nah, okay. Yo! Back off my broccolini, boo. Come on. A little forged iron. Yeah, it's so hard, I mean, to leave any area undiscovered in this game because they do, they don't give you much, but they give you something. Like, you go out of your way a little, one forged iron at a time, there's two more right there. Like, it adds up. Alright. Look at that, little purple. Sage stone. Now, what could that mean? Sage stone. Take a look here. Increases earned experience by 10%. Heck yes. So we're going to swap it out for this 10% reduction in incoming damage. I want to make sure it's a favorite. But we're going to see if that will help us level up. Level up stuff. No, I don't need to level up any faster than I am. Like, I feel like I'm already a little bit OP for this area, so... I, I don't want to handicap my game here. That's totally something I will use when I do another run, uh, another playthrough with... Sur or not Survivor, sorry. With Veteran, Apocalypse, or Nightmare. I'll totally use that, but for now... I don't think so. I don't think so. Ah, oh, I can't help myself. I just gotta roll through, baby. Alright. Make sure I'm not missing anything. See, look at me. I'm running past all these little crates. And I don't even care. Ugh, it's not making me crazy at all. 
Ah, <sighs> all right. Let's check this map. Dang, we are clearing it, baby. Clearing it. Clearly, we are clearing it. All right, let's go behind because it seems like that might dead end here in a moment. But oh man, right I am. Looks like an entirely other area. I labeled this episode the abomination thinking, oh, we're going to progress the story. Looks like there's more to explore. I might have might have jumped the gun on that. A little bit premature. All right. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely jump the gun. But it's cool. It's cool. We're learning. We're learning together on this journey into Yasha. Yasha. All right. Let's just see anything good over here. Nope. So much for what I just said about checking out every area because you get something. I guess that makes me a liar. Whatever. Okay. Yep, here we go. Forged iron times two. Mm-hmm. How about you? A doody do. A doody doody do. We're going. We're, we're mostly going in here. I don't want to keep moving this direction, but I do want to get a checkpoint so I can circle back. In Dyrus End. Oh my. You know, it says level 9, and I'm a little bit tempted to check it out. Like, is this a challenge? Oh, secondary archetype. So you have gained enough experience to select a secondary archetype. Your secondary arch archetype, archetype. We're going to call it AT. Your secondary AT can be changed at any time on the AT page in the character menu. I'm not going to say AT. I sound like a doof, doofus. Uh, secondary archetype in the character menu. Okay. Okay, but like, do I have one? Can I just like do that right now? All right, so I am here. Curry Nest was there. The Far Woods is there. Okay. So this does seem, yep, it's a dungeon. So let me uh, let me check out this archetype first. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. So we don't have another. So. I'm gonna have to look into that. I think we can buy, there's like these little items that the merchants at War 13 sell that seem like they do nothing because they don't do anything except unlock archetypes. Archetype, archetype, dang it. Um, so we'll go see, I think you can discover them as well, but it's um, something you can buy too. So I'm gonna have to think about that. Because honestly, the only reason I picked this archetype, I really liked the challenger. I really liked his like move, but because I'm playing the solo, I needed my companion. My companion Kujo, you know? Alright, here, let me do a quick time check, because last episode got out of hand. Out of hand. So, 23 minutes. So, we're coming back next episode to do that dungeon. But for right now, we are going, and I should probably jot that down. I need to start, like, remembering this stuff better. Indaria's engram or something? That ain't it. Indaria. Alright. So, we're going to go and just explore a little more red. See what we can find. So let's go do it. Listen, even if we don't take the main story right away, I, I do like, it brings me a little comfort, I guess, um, just knowing where the heck to go. Because Nerud was a little bit confusing for me, if I'm being honest. I had no idea what I was doing. Oh, man. So much for running past the enemies. Alright, here we go. Bye bye. Dang. 
That's a quadruple kill right there. Oh my goodness. Trait point? Yeah. What? What? I got my trait point. And we got a little bit of iron. Heck yeah, baby. Uh-oh. Kujo just jumps right into the action like a maniac. Kujo, you're fearless. You're fearless. You know, some say my dog's a rescue. But honestly, I feel like I was the one that got rescued. <laughs> uh, funny, if anybody ever says that to you, they lying. They just trying to get attention. Oh, damn it. oh crap. Yep, yep. Yep, here he comes. Oh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Dang. All right, they're in there. Where are they at? Oh my gosh. They like, they like took him down just in time. Back up. Come on, son. Come on, son. You got nothing on me, Kujo. Stop playing. Dang, we're getting a lot of good stuff in this little area. And it looks like another dungeon, possibly the main story route. I like that very much. Let's go take a look. Let's go look. We're gonna look at that exclamation point. We're looking at that exclamation. Look at that. Beautiful. We're not going through it because I don't want to trigger a cutscene by accident. Hey, look, it's that bird. Sweet. All right, so we need to remember the far woods. And I hope that exclamation will stay on there. I think it will. So we'll clear that dungeon in the next episode. And depending on how long that takes, I'd like to have time to go and uh, hit up that exclamation point move this story along, you know? Alright. Oh! Y'all, this game is so fun. It's like, it is addicting. You know, it's my weekend right now. We got Labor Day weekend, and some people like to do stuff. This is what I'm doing. I love it. Love it. Probably says more about me than the game, but it's a good game, guys. It's a good one. Alright. Let's see here. Alright. I think we got all the red area. And, uh, okay. So I see this little patch over here. Couple patches. Dang. These maps, they're respectable. You know? They ain't bad. A little scrap. Alright, coffee break. Okay. And we're moving, we're running, we're getting it done. All right. Oh, snap. Dang, man. Here they come. Run for it. Oh my gosh, we're running for it. We're running for it. Alright, let's hold our ground and just try to get these guys off our backs. And then we'll explore that red area behind us. Dang, roll the bullies.
I was sure there were more flying things, but oh, there we, there it is. What do you know? Hey, they are some sneaky buggers. Dang. That's teamwork, man. I soften them up. You finish them. Whoa. Thank you, Kujo. I didn't even see that. All right. Let's go check it out. Oh, little birdies. I swear I saw something glowing. Maybe nuts. Maybe not. Okay. It's all good. I didn't even want anything anyway. Whatever. Oh, uh, check it out. Another, uh, another path. Man. Just gotta decide what order to do it in, I suppose. And a chest. Nice. Force iron, oil skin bomb. Oh, I hear a roly-poly. Where they at, though? You don't stand a chance against the Enigma. Papaligba. Feel like I've been meleeing way less since getting uh, getting this enigma I want to change that you know why though it's it's not about the enigma I think it's because these guys are spiky and awful and if I try to whack them I'm liable to get hurt and I don't like getting hurt you know Cujo you understand Cujo's taking a big old bite out of those spikes it's gotta hurt it's gotta hurt all right excellent look at us we are like finding some good stuff here all right so looking at the map the exclamation point is still there we've got another and looks like there's an NPC I think that's the bird oh I think that's the bird area that we got booted from maybe not but we got some dungeons to clear. I like that. So I think where I'd like to go is just so I can keep my, uh, just the dungeon straight. I think I'm going to start in that first one, that Endaria place. Let me uh, take a look. 33. Yeah, I think we are arriving at a good stopping point. You know, I haven't been back toward 13 in a while. I think the time's coming, but it isn't here yet. So, it'll probably be after we progress the story a little. Like, I'm kind of waiting to face a boss that just gives me a bunch of trouble before I go and try to upgrade anything further. So, so until that time comes, we're just going to keep progressing, just moving through. And, um, and I just did a big circle. <laughs> so I'm going to do this liquid death. So I think I've mentioned it before. There's no penalty to use liquid death. Like, kind of seems like you shouldn't. But it will take you back to your nearest checkpoint. Which, check it out. It put us right where I was wanting to go. Uh, the Indaria's End. So let's cross back into there. We'll wrap it up. And next episode, we're clearing this dungeon, y'all. All right. Good work. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. This is Space Doggy, and I will see you later. See you some other time. Peace.